Hello and welcome. Imagine you are a business owner and you decided to make Android app for your customer. You work hard and build Android app and then publish it on Google Play Store for users to download. Even after one month, you are unable to get any single downloads or installs for your app. So this is the common problem for every small business or indie app developer. In this video, I am going to teach you how to do App Store optimization for your Android apps on Google Play Store so that you will get more organic growth for your Android app. I have been making Android app on Google Play Store from last 10 plus years. So I am going to use my experience based knowledge to teach you the App Store optimization and how to do it properly on Google Play Store. This video will be highly focused on google play store and not the apple app store so each and everything i share in this video is only applicable for google play store and in case if you want uh, app store optimization then you can exit the video and look for the next video with that said let's get started First important thing is let's understand user's journey from discovering your app to installing the app. A typical user journey starts with the source channel of your lead. Source channel can be anything such as your website, your landing page, search results, ad campaign, etc. From the source channel, user will land on Google Play Store. And on the Play Store, user will watch the entire Play Store listing and decide whether to install or not to install the app. If he installs the app, then after installing, user will open the app and create engagement. After after engagement, user will decide whether to keep the app or to uninstall the app. So this is your end of the journey by user deciding whether to keep the app or to uninstall the app. In App Store optimization, you have to take in consideration entire journey from the start of source channel till the end of the journey which is either keeping or uninstalling the app. Now let's focus on the Google Play Store listing page and how to improve the listing page. To improve the listing page, once again, we have to take into consideration the user attention journey because attention is everything. On Google Play Store, your app Play Store listing should be so good in capturing attention that a user should decide to install the app in less than 30 seconds. The first 30 seconds of user landing on your Google Play Store listing is very important. Let's map out the user attention journey on Google Play Store. On Google Play Store listing, there are four elements which you have to focus on. We will discuss each and every one of it one by one. First is the App Store icon. Now believe it or not, the most important thing is your App Store icon. Whether you open Google Play Store home page, search page or any page, the app icon is the first element to grab your attention. The colors of icon, the designs of icon and many other things are crucial in the app icon. But the important question is how to make a good app icon. Now, based on my experience in designing Android app icon, there are only four rules which you can keep in mind while designing the app icon. Rule number one is simple and easy to understand app icon. App icon such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Zoom, if you notice them, they are very simple app icons, nothing much complicated and they are very easy to remember and easy to understand. So while designing icons, avoid any complexity because human brain is not designed to remember complexity but human brain is designed to understand simplicity. Simplicity is easy to understand hence easy to remember. So. Rule number one, keep your app icon simple and easy to remember. Now, rule number two is use less than three colors. In fact, it is better if you use mono color or duo color. But remember the number of colors should be less than three or max to max three. If you add more than three colors, it gets difficult and complex. And like I said in rule number one, app icon should be easy to understand and remember. Example of this is Microsoft Word, Evernote and even if you look at the Adobe Express icon, it appears more than three colors. But but still the primary dominant color are max to max 3 in it. Another example is PixArt. As you can see, the dominant color are only 3 in this app icon. So you can experiment with various color but remember don't add more than 3 colors in your app icon. In fact, single color icons are best easy to remember and easy to understand. And second best is dual color. And third best is only 3 colors but no more than 3. Third rule for designing app icon is the app icon should tell a story or a message. This rule is slightly complicated to implement in Android apps but if you look at the Android games, this is very popular among Android games. Android games such as Angry Bird has a bird icon which actually sends a message to user that the game is about the birds which are a little bit angry. Another popular example of this is hill climbing racing. As you can see, the entire app icon tells user what 
about the gain is about it's about the car climbing the hill in android app you can also implement it it is slightly tricky but if it's work then it works like excellent example of this is the eva app which actually shows a person in app icon which delivers you the message that this app is all about ai girlfriends and ai personalities another popular example is shadil.com app icon the app icon in itself represents the entire love story which delivers a message to user that it is a dating and marriage app in india now fourth important rule while designing app icon is the color theory now color theory in itself is a very in depth to topic which we can't discuss in a single video but it is important for you to understand at least the basics of color theory while designing your app icon and implement concepts of color theory in it while designing it so these are the four general rules by designing app icon these are not hard and fast rules but these are general rules you can get creative and implement your own way of designing app icon but according to my experience these four rules are important when you design app icon now the second most important element when it comes to user attention journey on google play store is your app name and app title now app name or app title are second most important element to grab the attention because app name appears next to the icon hence we will focused on app name also so while writing your app title generally on google play store there is one popular format which i have seen across all app and the popular format is first you will write app name and next to the app name add a tagline a very short tagline of few words remember that there is a character limit on google play store so while writing the tagline keep in mind the character limit example is the discord app and the tagline is talk play and hang out your app tagline should tell user what your app is about or at least mention your features or functionalities of your app in the app tagline and the tagline is also important for seo in some cases so do your research while creating the tagline now there are some exceptions to these rules if you look at the apps such as youtube instagram they don't have tagline the reason is in case if your app is very popular or well known or in case if your app name in itself is a brand name then you may not need tagline only the app name in itself is enough to convince user to install the app example is mcdonald youtube instagram and there are multiple apps which have only app name because they are well known they are well popular and they are brand name now let's go back to our user attention journey we discuss app icon we discuss app name now the third important element to grab the attention is the screenshots of your app on google play store you have to add screenshots in your app store listing those screenshot section play very important role because most user judge an app based on the screenshot and screenshot are more crucial element as compared to description because if given a choice between watching an image versus reading a long paragraph people always choose the screenshot or the image so you have to design a proper screenshot graphics so that it will convince users to install the app each and every screenshot on the play store list listing should describe the features or functionality of your app so design accordingly now here is a question how to make best screenshot for a google play store listing my simple advice will be focused on the features and the benefits of your app and represent them graphically in the screenshots and there are certain do's and don'ts which you have to keep in mind while designing the screenshots such as the text in the screenshot don't create fancy text use the font and size which is comfortable for users to read it on mobile screen when it comes to designing the screenshot don't design it extremely fancy but design it a very simple focused and easy to understand for users create simple the design screenshots with a proper readable text now according to my 10 plus years experience on google play store there is one standard format which i observe that each and every one use on google play store for designing screenshot the format is the in your screen shot mention four elements title subtitle background and the app in short these four elements are important only mention these four elements and get creativity when designing background make sure the background is designed in such a way that text is easy to read and screenshots are highlighted on the background now let's look at the fourth and last element on google play store which is essential to grab the attention that is your app store description now app store description is the last element now what you add into app store description is depend on on you and what kind of app you are building but the first three lines in your google play store description are important add the hook in the top three or four lines in description and after that mention all the important elements such as features benefit faq or any other stuff while writing the description make sure that you do your own proper seo key or keyword research because description is very crucial for the search engine ranking on google play store so while writing the description do your own research of keyword 
words and the SEO. At the bottom of the description, you can mention other details such as your official website URL, social media handles, and your contact details. This adds more authenticity and professionalism in the listing. So to recap everything in a short, the user attention journey on Play Store start with the app icon, then next it is the app name, then next it is the screenshots and ends with the description. When user go through all of this element, then user will come to the decision whether to install or not to install the app. If user decided to install the app, then we have to focus on next part which is the user engagement on Android app. Because the way user interact with your Android app play a very crucial role for the app ranking because it indicates the quality of your app. If you have a good quality of app, then user will engage more with it. If you had a bad quality of app, then user will not engage with it and this gives signal to google play store that your app is a poor quality of app now the question is how to improve the quality of the app according to my experience the parameter important to judge the app quality are user engagement app stability app retention monthly active users and app rating on google play store now how to improve this parameter depends on you as a software engineer for example when it comes to app stability you have to identify what is causing certain crashes or app not responding error and then resolve it as soon as possible when it comes to the app engagement, you can do certain things such as adding app notifications so that you can send notifications to user about your promotions, offer etc. and user can open the app. Another thing is the app retention. App retention is very crucial because if user uninstalls your app after one or two days, then this gives negative signal to Google Play Store that your app has a poor quality. Now how to improve app retention is your app should deliver value to your users. If your app don't deliver any value to user, then users will uninstall it. You can also try to add in-app subscription or products because if user pay for subscription then there is a high possibility that user will not uninstall the app apart from this you can improve your ui ux design do a b testing which ui looks good and which doesn't and make sure your app don't crash keep monitoring all this parameter on daily basis and work on it when new android os is released make sure you update your app and make it compatible with new android os now before we end the video there is one x factor which is extremely crucial for you to grow your android app organically without this x factor all the things which you discuss in this video becomes useless and this is what i learned from my 10 years of experience on google play store and the x factor is the distribution channel for your android app now without your own distribution channel there is no way users will able to find your android app if users are not able to find your android apps all the hard work in play store listing optimization title app icon this become useless so you have have to create your own distribution channel to get the user lead now google play in itself is a good channel but but if you are new beginner or if your app don't have much downloads then google play store is not that reliable you may get few downloads one or two from google play store explore page or search page but you need to have your own distribution channel to get user lead now what is distribution channel the way i define distribution channel is anything that helps you to get leads or sales is your distribution channel anything can be distribution channel example your social media profile your email list getting featured on news article or certain events etc your friend circle can also be your distribution channel so make sure you share your own android apps with your friends and family and if you have lots of money you can use your ad campaign to create the sales and leads and in case if you have lot of high budget then you can use ad campaign to promote your app and get leads and sales Google search is also a great option to get organic leads but you have to work hard on building your own website blog and also search optimizing it to generate the lead. It depends on you on how you create this distribution channel. You have to get creative. Most popular is, is social media so I will recommend using social media such as uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube etc etc. So we have come to the end of the video. If you stick with me till this point, thank you very much for watching. If you get value out of this video, make sure you share it with your friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel. With that said, have a nice day and bye bye.